Scanny, sir. Shall we begin? Yeah, it's an album that is that I created for a lot of reasons. But saying I'm a star on my own without the influence of Big Brother Niger, I don't think that's, that has been the, the goal. I don't think the goal has been to be a star on my own without the influence. Of, I mean, there's always something that's going to propel you. So it's, it's, it's always going to be a part of my story. It's just not what is going to define the rest of the story. Like, yeah, it's, 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 it was a means to a means for me. So it's not even a means to an end. It was a means to a means. So I would never, I would never remove that part or the, the fact that that was kind of what propelled me but it's just not what is going to define me moving forward. So yeah, it's still a part of my journey and I'll still acknowledge it. I never thought I was going to be. <laughs> I mean, I could have, anything could have happened. But the main, like I've always been saying, the main reason why I went to the house was to promote my music and now Shall We Begin is here. I mean, I've been putting out music, uh, features, jump on features, we put out hip hop, uh, jumped on different features and now the album. As, as, as a person, as an artist, I, I, I definitely try to always find a balance between appealing to a larger demography and, and also staying true to what it is I do. But what I do is music, really. It doesn't come in form of rap, it could come in form of me singing, it could come in form of me trying to do different genres and fusing it with rap. So what I call it is Afro rap. So, I mean, Say it's well-rounded, it's much more commercial, it's much more... I mean, yeah, I, I guess people could look at it from that perspective and then you could still also look at it from a perspective that this artist has grown and is getting... It's just getting to a level where, yeah, he's making music that is much more diverse and, uh, and has range, basically. You can look at it from that aspect, too. I feel like I'm not like every other rapper, to be honest. I'm not like... Yeah, I, I, I feel it's music for me. It's creating music that would, uh, that people can relate to. So what's the point of, I mean, yeah, as a rapper, the whole point of this, being able to fuse words together in a way that people would not normally do. But now nah, I come to understand that you need to fuse words together in a way that people would not normally do. But then everybody who would not normally do that would be able to understand it without, I mean, yeah, I could make music for, say yeah, to just make music that only me can relate to. But then what's the point of making music for everybody if it's only you that can relate to it? So I'm making music that I feel like I am expressing myself in a way that every other person can relate to it and they can kind of just connect with whatever it is I'm saying. And I feel like that's, that's the whole goal for me. But then again, you still make that kind of music and there's always going to be dialogue that people, people with different opinions will come and say, oh, this is, this is what he said, this is what he meant, this is how he should have said it, this is how he should have created it. I mean, everybody always has a, an opinion as to how things should be done. And that's just the wonderful thing about art. It's subjective. I mean, I recorded Shall We Begin simultaneously while recording uh, I Am Lee Con official soundtrack so i have a reality show on showmax i am lacon and i had to create an official soundtrack album for that show so while i was recording that album i was also recording shall we begin so it was me doing working on two projects simultaneously while also um two projects with different themes with different mindset with different vibe different feel and different message to pass so I mean, it was it was fun. It was one of the hardest I've had to work uh, since my career. So I mean, I enjoyed it. I, I'm looking forward to seeing a whole lot of positivity come out from Shall We Begin album. So I I, I had fun enjoyed. I had fun creating this. We I was um, around a lot of artists, a lot of creative people, uh, a lot of my friends, a lot of my. Uh, my fam who came together and hung, hung around me while I was doing this. So it was a beautiful, it was a beautiful process for me. 
a process where I actually learned a lot about myself and as, as an artist too. They, they like came and were like, uh, yeah, I mean, they saw the brand and they wanted to like work with the brand on that level where people can connect with me, people can connect with my personality. And yeah, why not, why not create a reality show off of that, about my life, about how I'm going to adjust to everything that I've gotten. And it also involved me, my music creating process. And I felt like, yeah, why not do it? So we just came together and we, we made it happen. I mean, yeah, I tried. I, I, I made sure that I tried to make it um, as distinct as I can on both sides. And it wasn't, it was fun. That's just all I'm going to say. It was really, really fun creating two projects. I mean, the other one isn't out yet. It's going to be out and I just, yeah, it's just wonderful. It's different. It's different in different different ways, different songs. Like Verified, I I wrote the song. I wrote the chorus, the hook that put your lighters up if you know Save Go Represent. Uh, I wrote it and then Q created a beat for it. So that's a different vibe. Fall for me, the beat was there. Then we created a song to it. Uh, God Buddy, I kind of wrote a part of the song already then the beat was created and then fused together. So it's, it's really different. I don't have a set way that this is how I must create my music. It's spontaneous. That's why every vibe is different, every song is different, every feel is different. I know the quality of music has to always be A1. The quality, if, if everybody agrees that, oh yeah, this song is actually good enough, it's relatable, it can, uh, it can change people's perception, it can actually drive something in people's emotions and people's expression, then let's, let's put it out. That's the thing. Uh, for working on, yeah, we, we, you can call it three projects because the I Am Lacon was actually a project on its own and we were shooting while I was simultaneously recording two different projects. So yeah, I mean, I had to just, I had to be intentional with my mindset. I was intentional with most of the songs on this, uh, on the Shall We Begin album. I knew that, um, oh yeah, we had to create a song that is different from what I'm creating for uh, the I Am Lake on OST. And that's, that's the same mindset I have for that one, that I can't create the kind of songs I'm creating here. here. So for every beat, for every song selection, for every song, creation process, I was intentional not to make it sound alike or not to make the theme or the storyline sound alike. So yeah, that's what I, like I said, that's one of the fun things I've done recently. And, and, and it's, I'm looking forward to, to the next step, really. I mean, <laughs> to be honest, yeah, I don't think she has heard it. I mean, not from me. Maybe she has probably heard the album. Well, we spoke this morning. I didn't even talk about the album because she was just praying and she was just uh, saying a whole lot of positivity. Uh, but for me, it's always been the same. If it's my music, my mom is 100% uh, down for whatever decision I go to and say, okay, this is the decision that we've agreed upon. Ours is just for say, okay, yeah, if that's what you want to do, I'll pray for you. That's all. And so she accepted for her voice to be on the album. Shout out to her as one of the best features. <laughs> uh, on the album, I work with YKB Tiny Mayokun, Terry, Joe Boy. I mean, these features where we were also intentional with the features. And yeah, the process working with them, those, those wonderfully talented and awesome individuals actually just came and they made the album beautiful. They made it awesome with that with their personality, with their, with their presence. And I really appreciate every one of them. It was, it was, it was wonderful working with this set of people because they're people that I respect a lot and people that I actually enjoy their music. So for me to create music with them is something that I really, really am elated about. And for it to be on my debut album, that's also something I'm actually very grateful for. So shout outs to everyone who was featured on the album. God bless you guys. I must pick one. That's why I put 12 songs on the album. If I would just pick one, I would have just released one song. You get <laughs> my opinion, I love all the songs. Well, I mean, the, the number five song in the country is verified. So, I mean, yeah, fall for me. I mean, it's just, that's the thing about music and what I said about dialogue. 
I mean, you have one opinion, other people have other opinion. That's the beautiful thing about art. Nobody should really pretend that they don't really enjoy sexual conversations. I mean, some people don't, but if you do, say you do, don't come and perform and say you don't like. Bam Bam is a song for everybody that likes to listen to that kind of song. And everybody that likes to listen to that kind of song, we have plenty. There's nothing anybody wants to tell me. <laughs> uh, well, we are we are much. And Bam Bam, I created Bam Bam with that mind, mindset mindset because I and Tells had a conversation and he told me, oh, this was how we saw the beats. And this was what it felt for me. I'm like, ah, oh, you've come to the right place. I know what I'm going to do on this song. And I did it. And I, th I think everybody kind of likes Bam Bam because it's, it's not something they would expect. Yeah, I mean, you guys can go for confession, but, but between me and my, my God, I know that everything is Gucci. <laughs> I had no idea that it was even going to be during Ramadan. I mean, there, there is the and so she spoke. That also, the, and then, and, and so they spoke, which is the other dive, uh, the, the uh, polar opposite of what and so they spoke is. I mean, and so she spoke kind of shows the Islamic religion and, and so they spoke kind of takes you to church. So, I mean, yeah, I was intentional with those two. But I mean, for Bam Bam, I didn't even know the release date was going to fall during Ramadan. So that it's not, it's not me in any way trying to disrespect any culture or any uh, religion. So it's just me putting out music. My music creation process is different from different songs. I mean, for God Body, I use a different form of uh, creation process. For All Over Me, I use a different creation process. For Verified, I use a different creation process. So it's always different with me. I'm, I'm, I'm spontaneous like that. I'm actually open-minded to go through different processes to acquire the same result, which is pro uh, create a quality body of work or create a quality song and make sure it's relatable and people enjoy it when they listen to it. I mean, there were, I actually have songs that I felt like I could have made the project, but then again, with me, it's always the storyline. It's always the, the intention of whatever it is I'm trying to pass across to the audience. And if, if I see that the song doesn't fit, then it's not going to make it. And so, I mean, I want to work with as much people as I can, collaborate and, and create beautiful music with everybody. Because I feel like there's a dynamic that some people have that other people don't have, that one person has that every other person doesn't have. So if I have that person on my song, that person is bringing an element that is rare, that's only peculiar to that person. So there are people that I would have wanted on the album. But then again, I am still 100%, 200%, 1000% satisfied with what we created for Shall We Begin. It's always going to be improvement. We had like, I always say, don't. Uh, I'm not going to be the best. I'm just going to be the better one. Always getting better, always getting better. That's a continuous process. So there's always time. There's always going to be the next project and the next one after that and the next one after that. So what that. song would be? But it's not my song. And then again, I'm 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 working with multiple people too. So I mean, like I said, it's the story that we're trying to pass across. The 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 theme. If, if some songs don't fit into it, then this, it's just not going to work. Like Verify, for instance, was supposed to be on Weasley Con. But that's a 2020 project that I recorded in 2019. So I've recorded my own power of Verify since 2019, but I didn't make Weasley Con project. But now it's on Shall We Begin album. So it's, that's the way it is with, with music, really. You never really know, but you just focus on things that you need to make one particular thing work. The album is not, the album is just out. Let's, let's keep streaming. Let's keep streaming. Shall we begin? Let's get it to, it's charting in over 20 countries, to be honest. Shall we begin number, was number one album, charted number one, Guinea Bissau. I don't really, that's the first time having a number one album in anywhere in the world and it's Guinea Bissau, not even Nigeria. So I'm really, really happy with the progress the album is, is making. I just want to implore everybody to keep streaming, keep spreading the word and keep sharing the music. Let's keep getting the numbers up. Uh, uh, I would have to count now. Finito, Shemzi, Titanium, uh, Q, Major Banks, D-Wheel, Tails. 
I think seven, Jay Sins and DJ Clem. So that's nine producers. Now, I've been working with Finito Titanium and uh, way before now, but most of these producers, some of them, I just started working with them. It's awesome. Can you see the madness that we did? And shall we begin? And, and, and for the fact is, there are lots of factors that, that I keep thinking about and saying for this album to be the way it is with the, with the process that was put into it, the time and energy that was put into it, then we really did, we really did wonderfully well. And I appreciate everybody that came up, came on the project. I love you guys so much. You guys are the best. Thank you so, so much. Funny, sir. That's Lacon. It stems from Lacon. So when I was in, in school, girls used to call me Connie because of the con part. Con, C O N. So Connie, C O N N Y. But then when they say Connie, I'm always responding with sir. So it's Connie, sir. And I've been using that tag since 2000 and 2013 ish. So, and yeah, I study philosophy. I took minor courses in history and strategic studies. That's history and international relations. It influences my music, definitely. I'll be playing football, midfielder, creative midfielder. Yeah, I was that good, but then everything dropped for me. I dropped everything for music. So, I mean, every sacrifice I've ever, every sacrifice I've ever made in my life has always been towards music. But I started recording professionally in 2012. Yeah, I put out a couple of mixtapes, Con Job, Conspiracy, then I put out uh, Young Black and Gifted in 2016. And then from there, Any Given Monday 1, Any Given Monday 2, uh, Weasley Con, Now Shall We Begin. Young Black and Gifted, Rap, AGM Rap, AGM Rap, Weasley Con. I mean, yeah, I started evolving from there and now I'm still evolving. I get, uh, I get inspiration from everything and everybody and I, I think I'm just a kind of person that my, the way I derive my knowledge is from, from everything around me. So if I listen to everyone, if I'm listening to people, I'm getting, and I'm trying to get a body of knowledge, I'll probably pick the, the head from you, pick the tail from somebody else, pick the middle from somebody else, pick the, and it's just like that. So it's just like that with my music influence also. It's a mixture of everything. Yeah, I love Jay-Z. I love Andre, I love Kanye, I love Drake, Lil Wayne. That's the thing. I'm going to be keep. I'm going to keep mentioning names because every one of them, they have just. There's just one thing about them that every other person doesn't have. Well, I go on, guys. I go by the name L O S C O N, and it's Connie Sir, and I'm on Simple TV. Keep watching. Thank <laughs> you.